Duelo de estrellas del billar pool. El estadounidense Nick Barney enfrenta a la leyenda Efren Reyes a una carrera de nueve mesas en la modalidad de bola nueve.
you know, and for the cue ball not to move far. Pushing. He needs some sort of an angle to attain a shot on the two here. Oh, he decided that. Yeah, if he's gonna cut off the cue ball and it's going you know, this way, he's making more of a straight line. And hitting yeah, well, too much. He dug down too much, or else he didn't hit far enough to the right. Either, either one of the two. Now the final. Wherever you get the six ball is just right down by the corner. That's a very good observation there. You know, so it won't, if he can get on the five. The six is really placed conveniently in regards to the five. All he needs to do is get any kind of a shot. Uh, maybe not present too much of a problem, but if it only goes in the corner, then he has to watch his angle here. Okay, well, he got it. I like a center ball straight across. I think he likes it differently. I think he's going to go in front of the five, going down so toward the other corner. Shoot the five in the other corner. I think, you know, that shot is a, it's, this is a, your shot because uh, you don't have to look at that side pocket right there. The side pocket where the fuel's on the other side of it, you're, you, have to, you have to get straight in to have an easy shot. Whereas if you got an angle in the side pocket, it's probably a big problem on you. Okay, if he's able to avoid contacting the seven here, the remainder of this rack should be rather routine, which he's done quite nicely. All he needs to do now is attain the angle up table, pass the side pocket for the eight in the side, the nine in the corner, and all of a sudden we're going to see a 3-1 advantage for Reyes. It should be 3-1 here. Uh, and I tell you what, the, the last couple breaks we've seen, uh, the balls haven't broken that well for either player. So, uh, you know, it looked like the first couple breaks they really broke well, and then the last couple they haven't. So, uh, the breaks are really, you know, changing. Well, another thing you have to consider when you notice that the table was really... Corner ball there. Corner ball did go in. Yeah, I think he's going to have a shot here. The one's going to come out. He's going to have a shot here. And it came out just... It hurts him here because I think he's going to come close to the side of No, no, he comes forward to the seven. Okay, look at the position. I think I said the four, the four, then the six, seven, and then the eight down by the nine ball on the bottom. Yeah, that could be his worst problem, right? And everything's still on the exactly. seven. Exactly. What he wants to do is his best position is get down. Uh, he didn't. He didn't want the angle. The other. Want to stay on for a nice angle to cut the like, seven. Looks like he's too much straight in. No. Now he's staying on that line. He's to staying play. on the line toward the seven. Yeah, exactly. Okay, looks like he's popping the ball plainly. Like really going in with a lot of velocity. This is game number five. Reyes does lead in the match three games to one. And we're pocketing nine here and we have four to one. This is, right now, this is a pretty big lead. And for Reyes says, hey, I'm tired of thinking that it wasn't. Well, uh, the balls kind of broke a little funny. You can kind of tell the sound of them. Well, yeah, so evidently he can make it straight in, Billy. Oh, he kind of spun it a little. That was another one of the mass A tricky shot next guy. It looks like he's going toward the two ball. Yeah, he's going toward the two ball. And he come out okay, so... Where's uh, John? Yes, uh, it looks like all he has to do is kind of draw back to the center of the table. Like so. And, uh, right there. Yeah, what he really wants to do here, he doesn't want too much of an angle on the five here. That's his main key. Oh, it was oh, really was, unexpected miss by Bonner, huh? That was a careless that, miss. Here. I tell you, really. Bonner had a great opportunity to, uh, you know, edge his way back into the match. <laughs> Effort missing the mass issue. Huh? Fungo. I think he should just lay beneath the seven. Huh? Well, he's going to come out. So he's going to come out two rounds as well. Very nice thing there. I thought perhaps he may have stayed stay in it. Short again. And if you come to the you might get the rail, and that was what he did with the I guess. Applying a very nice stroke on the ball, avoiding the side pocket, and then leveling out after hitting the side cushion and three cushions for position for the nine. This is game number six. Raise leads what, four games to the shot you really have to concentrate on. This shot I'm here with Buddy Hall. Uh, I was playing here. And uh, the match, I was ahead of, of Buddy, seven games to, I think it was one. Once you start feeling sorry for your opponent, or you think your opponent is helpless, and then you're going to lose a match, those things you let your guard down. Exactly. You know, you're not supposed to let your guard down Never. when you're in a tough fight. Because the other player is going to, the other player is going to play just hard running, you know, now effort. He didn't, he didn't make anything on the break there, and that could be, you know, like you say, they could win three or four or five games. Put our, let's focus our attention to the uh, actually the layout that he has on the table. Okay, the five, six, and the seven seem to be get a little bit straight in on the six, like so. And now, now well, it's hard to see. It looks like he's drawn to the side room here. 
drawing the shot, he increases the accuracy of the shot. Right. So you therefore, up the seven. Whereas if he's coming straight across, you to hit that point's really got to be a little unlucky. Well, he hit the seven perfectly. Now he's lined up the cue ball. Perfect. Just kind of make the eight fall forward about two or three inches, and uh, there's a nine in the other pocket. This is game number seven, and it looks like that Nick Barner will then close the gap to within three games, two games to five. Yeah, with the position, you know, and I kind of like his choice here. Okay, he was able to pocket the one on the side, nearly scratching in the lower left-hand corner, but that didn't happen. Two ball finally coming to rest in the center of the table. He slow rolled it, and he hit it good. Well, he was able to avoid contacting the nine, and, right. and the way he did that... You know, he kind of just wants to come out one reel, out kind of the center of the table. He's going the other way with it. I kind of like your route. Uh, your, your, uh, and we can't really tell uh, the angle he had. He might have had a little bit more angle uh, than it looked like. So, uh, let's see, I like to kind of play, kind of play with the speed here. But I think it all stemmed from his, uh, his choice of position on the floor. I like the position on the floor. I guess that's why we're here in the booth and he's out playing in the finals. <laughs> but it looks like this game, five games for three, but this is just routine, just follow up. And the nine's right there, and uh, we have a five-three deficit. And at one time it was five to one, that's when I turned to you and said, do you think this lead is insurmountable? Inside of the table. And the one's going to be cut off here, and that's going to go up in the corner here. Or the two ball, and there he's straight in again. Okay. Yeah, he's going to spin around two rails here and kind of go, go kind of toward the four here. Oh, that's hard. No, he has to watch. He, hit the, he hit the one too thinly. Too thinly, that's what happened there. It just... Two cushions deep out of the corner for the four, and he ended up hitting the two thinly. There's no chance of missing it. Yeah, but he's just, no, he, playing, that's, just playing safety behind it. Behind the nine. First, both balls will go off that cushion and go toward the other side. Right. His main concern was controlling the cue ball, wow, making sure that, shot. No. that... That is an excellent that's shot. That's a good shot there, I'll tell you what. That is, you know, he just played available. If he can hit it thin enough, I think if he hits this ball thin, the two balls thin, he's got a chance of making a nine here. Well, he hit it thick. See, that's the, that's the whole key. Under the five on this reel, and the cue ball staying behind the six and nine. Kind of like that. I think that was the shot. Sort of like this. Two rails and a sign, and then won the match from there. And that was the year when he scratched it. You know, kicking it in that fashion, it seemed to me at least. That I think the main thing he should have done there was to hit the ball more firm. Is to, uh, you know, go ahead and hit the ball. Go to the cushion quicker. Not following through with the two ball. Ray is very nicely. <laughs> shot pocket speed, I guess we call it. That was really pocket speed. Really pocket. That was, I don't know, I think that just made it to the point. That was point speed there, so. Uh, I think he's going to kind of try to draw past the side and down table for the eight. Yeah, this is actually the best I can be on the game. Now all he's going to do is draw straight up using the side cushion and then come on up toward the nine. This is game number nine. And a rest to nine. This was a big game here. If, uh, if Nick could have won this game, it would have been a lot more pressure on that from here. But you guys are yeah, run why not? Ranks. Why not? Right. Okay, we're ready. We're back in action again. Effin Ray is leading in the match six games to three, breaking the balls game number ten, coming up dry once again. Warner's going to be in the match till, well, till the end. And that's the way I see it also. Effin Ray is the next time. Guy in a big disadvantage to yourself. So, uh, you know, and, and they come to the table. He pocketing balls on the break. Right, exactly. Now, if Warner starts breaking the balls, it starts to get production off of his break. You know, fairly even match from there. And not only that, when you consider that Reyes has a history of finishing second events, he may have the early lead. Whatever the score may be, you know, you you don't get any consolation for that. You know, you, you can might as well go a game and uh, lost nine games in a row. So, uh, I mean, you can, you can lose a lot of games in a row real quick. So, if Warner continues his assault. The advantage that you need. This is game number 10. Right now, Warner trails by three games in the match. True. And I watched the uh, break, and, and so far, uh, Nick has had more, uh, he had, he's had more production on the break than, than Effort has, even though Effort... Okay, One ball on the side, 
It seems to me that's the ball he's been getting paid off on is the one in the side, the position of the two in front of the ball's up, and then he's taking a big chance. I think what's he, what he's going to do is uh, he's trying he's trying to come pass it. And okay, obviously he can't do anything. And place the safety there, and that's going to leave Efren just a good, easy kick shot. See, he's coming past the line here. He's trying to come past the line. Past the line. He's trying awfully. He's trying shoot the way he's addressing the table, it looks like he's going to do some rolling here. Oh, okay. I think he, he left it where he can hit it. Oh, and he can't hit it, but I think he can spin it. And... Yeah, there you go. Yeah, he can't hit it. Well, not only could he hit it. Over on the four. Okay, now, well, right now he's gone. But he has to be concerned with scratching cross corner here. Well, he's not kicking it that hard. He's hit it too easy. Okay, now... He's not hurt. If this, if this ball ball is frozen, that's a big problem. It must not be frozen because he's trying to just lay on He hit the eight. Yeah, he hit the he eight. He hit the eight. Okay, now you have a choice. Do you go out for the run out or do you try to get him on three? I don't, I don't see. Uh, I mean, the eight's frozen if you get... You know, if you get almost straight in on the... On the seven are adjacent to one another. So all he needs to do is attain a shot on the six, a straight-in shot on the six, the remainder of the rack. Left rail over here. And the, from the position of the five, I don't think he's going to get... There. He's hit that ball good. Yeah, uh, perfectly. Let's see. Perfect. Now he's in... Now That's by two games, six games to four. With the pocketing of the seven and the nine, he will extend his lead in the match by the score of now seven games to four. Seven games to four, and with Efren breaking the balls. See the one key again you've, you've, is, to, is to break this match. Efren has it uh, to beat me 9 8. So, I mean, you know, like you say, there's, you know, and you have to go back and point to certain games in a match for when a guy loses. You know, it may be 9 8, uh, you know, and he lost that game, but he wouldn't think that he lost the game, you know, on that game, probably match anyway. Yeah, this is definitely the key shot. He's running in. He's playing a safety. He's trying to position the cue ball behind the two. It. He has positioned it dead perfect. Look okay. carefully and closely at this kick. He got to just missed a four. And he hit it. Wow. Oh, come on, did, he now, did he kick or what? That's got to be the best shot. Kick or what? That is just, uh, <laughs> I mean, that's unbelievable. He had just Open nine ball championship. Well, I tell you what, don't count Barner out. He's a great kicker. He can kick this ball in here. Go to the bottom rail. We're well, looking here. Or we can look back on that shot. We can look back on that shot and say that. He's going to have to he's gonna have to mass A and spin this ball to the bottom rail here. That's scratched. Yep, that's scratched. Well, I tell you. I really don't have much to say about that one because that is such a great shot. The three in the left hand. Oh, he's drawing it. He's coming back. Oh, yeah. Notice the position of the five. If he happens to end up on the left side of the four, he's going to have to do some extra work to attain a shot on the five now. Yeah, I think he, he may have to play position. I don't... He has to watch out. You know, he's got to position his ball. He's got to position his ball. He's got to go a little bit. You know, I think he's, uh, I yeah, think he's, he's, he's done what he wanted. An outstanding kick. I wanted to see Nick Barner return it back to him. Another exactly. outstanding kick. And the Barner's kick actually was the shot. Well, that was just a great game there. That, like you say, you can, you can. This, that game was the pivotal game in the match. Uh, if Nick Barner happens to win this. Oh, absolutely. Very, that very game was to... definitely the pivotal game of the match. He could have, it looks like he was going to, Efren was going to get on the hill and be ahead 8-4 to four with the big lead. And now it's going to be 7-5 to five and uh, Barner's breaking. So things really aren't coming easy for Efren Reyes. No, no it's not. No, they certainly aren't. For either players, uh, this match is going to be a deserved play match. Whoever wins is great. So uh, I'm looking to see him make a ball in the break here. Okay, the one didn't go on the side. Now it looks like it had a chance to go cross corner. It didn't go cross corner. He came up dry on the break. Efren Reyes steps to the table. He looks like he's... Uh-oh, he's... I don't know what he's doing here. Wow. Well, whatever he done, he didn't... Well, he break. tried to dig out of that corner short enough to avoid contact. He'd be behind the two. There's a wall of balls right there that the cue ball can find. I don't think he get that behind. deep behind it. I think he's just playing the sass too hard, isn't it? Yeah, that was the problem with that kicker. That's just, uh... That's a little bit unlucky there. That's a little bit unlucky there for the ball to turn out there. Combination. There's no guarantee he's going to come up with a shot here. The nine may spoil everything for him.
Boy, that was a big game there. And be six games to seven. He'll be at the table breaking the balls, and then I think it's about an even match. Yes, with him breaking the balls. Considered was the momentum swing that just took place. The momentum swing now favors Barner, even though he's he's behind by a game. He has the break. He has the momentum. But those two factors from here because uh, he only has to win three games after this game here. So uh, he only has to win three games, and he's got the break. Game number 13 appears is going to go Barner's way. He'll then be trailing in the match six games to seven. But there's one other thing that we didn't factor in. Is that Varner has been making balls on the brick either. Well, uh, he's really just hoping for a, you know, an easy game here. There goes, the, there goes the three. There goes, no, it didn't go in. Okay, the one ball. He, you know, he's looking at, you know, it's kind of a, kind of a touchy shot. Watch out. The three between the five and the eight. He's really a master at this type of a shot. Very nicely done. But you, did you notice like, the straight English a lot more? It's a lot more easier to control. Well, I, I think that using no English on that particular shot, on the absolute correct side of the four ball, considering the position of the five, looks like this rack. Looks like, well, there's really no key. Just pocket every shot you look at. Uh, there's no key. It's just... What you said Evan would settle for, is, it looks like that's exactly what's going to happen. You said he would like to win one, and it looks like that's the exact scenario that we're going to be looking at in about 10 seconds. You're hearing exactly right. Well, I tell you what, that kind of Coming shot... Coming up a little was, short. He forced that shot, I believe. Well, now see, he's drawing this. He's drawing this shot. I don't like drawing that shot. I don't like it. More velocity on the break there. that he time. Hit the balls. Watch out one. More velocity and the balls may take their places. That's the whole key shot, man. He's gonna hit this hard. Come around two rails. Okay, it looks like it's perfect speed. Well, he wanted to come up a little more than that, I think. He's gonna shoot it with uh, straight bottom and just come straight up. Oh, well, that's absolutely double. perfect. That's perfect there. Absolutely looks like the seven and the five are on the same side of the table. The seven ball on the right is the eight. Now you're looking at the eight to the eight to the nine. It's, good. it's the main key here. Could the dry spell be over? Well, he won't have a better. Okay, what he's looking at here is ball with two rails uh, in between the eight and the side rail, and he wants to get fairly straight in on the eight. I think any angle will suffice on the eight. He don't want to brush it. Well. Okay, now he's going to go directly back to the bottom cushion. The only thing that I can envision going wrong here if he fouls the nine with a part of his clothes or his body. Well, I don't think he's going to do it. He's drawing back straight to the bottom cushion. And it looks like Efren Ray is finally going to crash the ice. He's finally going to win a major championship. It's going to be the U.S. Open. <laughs> you know, you really have to feel good for Reyes. You know?